Hello, and thank you for taking a few moments to familiarize yourself with Google Drive, a great tool for keeping yourself organized, collaborating with others, and managing your workflow. Let's begin by becoming familiar with the user interface. Please note that Google Drive has changed. If you do not have this interface, look in your settings and select the Experience New Drive option. In mine, it says Leave the New Drive. If you see this option, it means you are already in the new Google Drive. This tutorial is specific to Google Drive on the laptop. There is a separate video for using Google Drive on the iPad. On the left-hand side of your main toolbar, you can select the red button here to begin. Here you will decide whether you would like to create or upload an item. You can create a folder, a document, a presentation, a spreadsheet, a form, or a drawing. We'll take a closer look at how to use each of these specific items in the upcoming tutorials. You'll notice you also have the option to upload files and folders. Google Drive allows you to upload files and folders and comes with 30 gigs of storage space, making it a great place to call home for all your important materials that you can access across all devices. Let's take a look at the next item. This is My Drive. My Drive is your library where you will find all your files and folders. The next item is Incoming. Here you will find files and folders that others have shared with you. It's generally good practice to copy files and folders shared with you over to My Drive so that they are safely stored with you. When you select any item in My Drive, a new menu item will appear with additional options. Let's go ahead and select this folder called iTunes U Courses in My Drive to take a look. You'll notice once I've clicked my folder, additional menu options will now appear. The first item we see in this menu is the option to display a link. With easy access, you can send it out to anyone who you would like to view your document. Please note that this is not the same as sharing the file for collaboration. When sharing documents with others, you're going to want to select this little person with the plus sign. Once you select this, a new screen will open up where you will enter the name and the viewing options the person can have. Be sure to change the access options. When you're done, hit save enter the names of the individuals with whom you'd like to share your document. It's very important that you also set what their options should be. They can either be able to edit the document or simply view it. If you'd like to add a message, go ahead and hit add message. When you're all done, select send. The next feature in our menu is a trash to simply remove the item if you no longer want it. The last one, however, is a little bit more important, and this is a column of three dots. Here you have some additional options. One of these options is to add a star on an item. If you have significant items you would like to star, simply click Add Star, and in addition to being in your library, it will also appear on the left-hand side under Starred Items. If we go back to our menu with the three dots, you'll notice a few more options, such as being able to change the color of a folder. This is a great tool for staying organized. Please note that colors can only be assigned to folders, not individual documents. You have a few other features over here, such as viewing the details of a document, in addition to being able to download your document. Up here at the top right hand side of your screen, if you toggle between this first icon over here, you can choose whether you'd like your items to appear in list view or in a grid view. You can choose how you want your documents to be sorted. You can view details on the activity of your drive. And over here, you have some additional settings. What happens if you can't quite seem to find the file or folder that you're looking for? Up over here, you have the option to search your drive. This is a great tool for being able to quickly access documents and information you need, but perhaps can't quite find. As always, if you have any questions about how to use Drive, please do come and see me and I'll be happy to review it with you and answer any questions or concerns you might have. 
Don't forget to download the Drive app on all your devices for easy access to all your files and folders.